How's it going, folks? It's February 16th, 2023. My name is Reagan Parenton, and some of my subscribers prefer or like to hear me monologue every so often, so that's what I'm doing, covering a wide range of subjects. But before I do some quick announcements, first off, I'm feeling slightly under the weather. I don't know if and when I will be recording again. Um, yeah. I'm just, I'm just really need to get my health together, and when I get some proper sleep and have something profound to say, then I'll get up on camera and do that, because, uh, well, again, I have some tabs open here I want to show in a minute, um, but, you know, the usual is going on, more wildfires than they can count, and Chile, permafrost is melting, um, Antarctica is melting faster than we thought, it's, uh, record sea lo low, sea ice minimum um for this time of year you know just the whole canon the whole enchilada of just crazy shit is happening it's too much and and this train derailment thing okay can i just finally bring that up look it happened it's a disaster as far as i'm concerned toxic fumes and poisonous uh gases are floating in the air all the time around us it's just you know, guys, what I'm going to say, it's just another drop in the bucket. It's just another thing, you know, I'm not, I'm surprised there's, there's not five more derailments. There probably will be this year. Our infrastructure is failing. Okay. And some alarming statistics came out this past week, which I'll get into, but another quick announcement is some love I'm getting over from the channel. Do not watch, uh, this Doomer based in London. Again, I've mentioned him before. Um, he has slightly more subscribers than I do. And good, fun, jolly content, if I could uh, use those descriptive adjectives. And, of course, Nature Bats Last has a good episode on the absurdity of authenticity. Uh, very relatable to not only myself, but many on this channel who ask the big questions and get little reward for such things. Uh, was, that being said, I did get an email from one of my fan subscribers um, whom I never met. I've met three of my subscribers in real life, uh, but not everyone. And he was detailing to me the struggles of trying to fit in with neurotypical norm, normie or whatever kind of adjective. I'm also drinking right now too, guys, so you know. Canadian club, um, the, the difficulties of, of trying to fit in, of trying to, it's, you know, people don't want to know, they don't want to mm, converse with you, they, you just have to, I've given up, I've given up on society and people, you just, you gotta act, you just gotta act fucking stupid, you just gotta talk slow and say things like, Oh, how about the Browns? Uh, or uh, how about the, the sports team? What did you eat for dinner last Friday? Did you go out to eat? You know, you just got to talk really slow and stupid, okay? That's the only way to deal with them. And, 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 and daily, you know, I'm reminded that, like, all this stuff that we produce... There's no going backwards. There's no all the fans, the candy bars, like uh, everything, charging cables. All where's that stuff produced? Like, how is there so many people making so much shit on the planet every day with little, no one questioning? You know, where's it coming from? Where's it going to? It's just really pathetic. And I've spent many of my videos trying to explain that. Luckily, though. It's getting out. And this article from Insurance Journal cuts to the chase. Nearly every other American believes that people in the U.S. are being harmed by global warming right now. It may be a bit of a re revelation that half the nation believes climate change is here, but what's not new is the polling shows most people now agree with scientists who say the world is warming. Thereby increasing the chances of extreme weather and the warming is being driven largely by activ human activities. Here's the thing. 68% of Americans neither strongly or somewhat agree that wildfires have increased around the world because of global warming. 
And then a majority, 56%, think extreme weather poses a higher moderate risk to their communities in the next 10 years, to their communities. This is a group of social scientists from Yale and George Mason University conducted this from December 2nd to December 12th, 1,000 adults. More than two in three Americans say the issue is either low or extremely or somewhat issue to them personally. More than half understanding that's mostly human cause. 44% believe they'll be harmed by it. 48% think that their family will be harmed. And 50 in their in their community. 70 think it's happening. I mean, this is this is the odds. People like don't know. This article also talks about the Anart the Thwaites Shelf in West Antarctica. Among the fastest melting ice shelves in the continent. And they could both due to collapse could lead up to two level two feet of sea level rise. And it's happening faster and quicker. And you can go on Mr. Beckwith's channel and watch a whole video about that. Um so before I move on, I just quote wrapping that up, you know, clueless morons, all of them. All of them. And You can't walk up to anybody. You know, perfect example today, I was in, in the line, and a Gen Xer, of course, you know, with his, in a business casual outfit with his daughter mouthing off, what's this, what's that, you know, and there's this one time, you know, telling him all the stories, and I just, and I was standing behind, standing behind him in line, I could have said, hey, sir, you know, we're in runaway, cli you know, we're in a runaway cl climate crisis emergency your daughter's life is literally at stake uh she will not make it to 20 years old without enduring extreme hardship and pain and this has been verified by all of the leading climate scientists in the world by for every nation we're 90 seconds to midnight you know that 30 second conversation what you want to speak is he that's how i feel just with strangers Okay, your, your choices are this. Your choices are this. You either act like a fucking idiot and be com really stupid, act stupid so that you have friends, okay? Or you speak the truth and you're alone. But you, you at least you're, f you're free in the sense that you don't have like all the conditions that like a large gr friends friend set group of friends you know has with it where everybody you know is ex expectations and so on and so forth so you know pick your poison you want to like hang out with people and have friends but be miserable and in a different way and have to conform and all that or or you speak the truth and live, you know, live your own truth and people will come along. I've, I've met some great people. It sounds like I'm a complete loner, like yes and no. I mean, I'm past the age where younger friends are seemingly farther out of touch. Um, and Gen Z starts to think I'm, I'm weird, you know, a creepy adult. But that being said, I'll tell you. There's a lot of cute doomer chicks around here. Like, like they look like, uh, what's that girl in fucking Adam's family? Wednesday. They look like Wednesday-ish. Like doomer, you know? And they're like so cute. But, but it's like, they don't even know yet. Like they don't even realize yet. But they'll be like, one of them may find me, you know? When they get like in their mid to late 20s, but the whole world will be a complete wreck, you know, so maybe I'll get one last collapse booty call. Because at this point, like, I'm just so disgusted by most people, I can't even, I mean, what, join a bowling league? I gotta go play pickleball? You know, I need to, like, where do intelligent people hang out? Okay, let's move on. Enough of my woes. Let's look, let's look at our generation of woes. We're leading the big quit. Nearly 70% plan to leave their jobs. And 4.2 million left voluntarily left in November. 18th straight month of record-breaking wits. More than half U.S. workers are considering leaving their jobs. Because they suck. Everything fucking sucks. It's shitty jobs 
with over you overwork uh underpaid bullshit jobs okay most of them and we're getting the point it's like not even worth it and look we got a new barney look at this trash that's barney that's who we grew up with okay that's barney that is oh abomination okay unfortunately someone was right i'm i'm wrong i stand corrected we are some of the heaviest uh we exceed older generations in chronic health health conditions like diabetes diabetes and obesity man i work pretty hard you guys see to keep my fitness up but like yeah, there's a lot of chunky people. And how can you blame them? Also, we're broke. And nearly half of insolvencies or last year were followed by millennials. This is in Canada, which is not much different than America. Over half of insolvencies in 2022 were followed by millennials, despite only accounting for less than 20% of the Canadian population. Yet, yeah, here it says 49% of insolvencies were followed by millennials. The average insolvent millennial is just 34 years old. I'm 30, 33. I'm 34. Yet they are 1.7 times more likely to baby boomers and 1.4 times more likely as Gen X to, sol to file insolvency. Huh, I wonder. Their average debt load is 47,000. Are you fucking kidding me? This is kind of a perfect storm for a bunch of factors. We can't hold houses. We can't buy houses. Student loans. Dude, get fucking real. You know, the, the antidote to... Uh, despair is uh, action. Yeah, my action is buying firearms and survival gear. Like, that's how I'm taking action because I'm fucking done with people. I'm done with the society and people. And you guys seen me. You've seen... You've witnessed me go through this entire arc. I've started off this channel. Dude, protest. You know, ch make change. Be the change you can be. Blah, blah. But all I did was get shunned and, and, and I've seen world leaders fail. Fuck all of it, dude. Fuck everything. Enjoy your leisurely time and get strapped. Practice your trigger finger. Look at all these people. I have no, I have no, I have no grace for them. This is unfucking acceptable that we don't look at each other and say, "Hey, you think something's wrong?" This doesn't seem right. It's Sixty degrees in February. All right, that's the fact. You know. That's the part I can't get over, is the, is the complacency from normies. Either not or refusing not to care. I've been through the, down this racket a thousand times. I, I don't I have any hate in my heart for it. It's just, it's just a fact. It just is. We're, we're not the wise ape. Alright, so I gotta get up in the morning and go sell my meat sauce. I make more money selling meat sauce than doing honest work. And, um, yeah, I appreciate you folks. You've been with me through all of this, understanding myself and, uh, through these insecure times, networking, um, yeah, and yet I still get I still get the questions from older people, you know, like all ages. Like, how do I deal with it? How do I uh, how do I associate with like normal people? And that's my only advice: is just be a fucking clueless moron. Put on your normie clothes. Ask them about the weather. No, don't ask them about the weather. Ask them what they had for lunch yesterday. You know, simple shit. Just superficial garbage. Just blah. What kind of cat food do they use? You know. Just blend in. Be a fucking moron. They're not worth saving. None of these people are worth saving. Alright. I'm gonna get on with my life and hopefully feel better. I'll talk to you later, Doomers. See ya.